When you make these environments for your games, it's easy for your landscape to become boring and laughless to the players. So I've come up with a simple solution that can be implemented very quickly. So what is it? Animated plants. And it's gonna be trees, plants, bushes, so on. So you may have hopped into your favorite game and seen all this grass like moving around. And this can really bring your environment to life. But sometimes you don't even have grass. So let's use the next big thing, trees. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so here I have this tree model and we just need a very simple rig to do this. So all I'm gonna do is go to shift A, add an armature and single bone. And right now we don't actually have to follow the shape of the tree. Like you can, you can go like model position it each way, but the, the simplest way is just drag it up and separate the tree into a couple sections. So if we do it like that, so we just have three bones uh, and I think this should be enough to get this to work. So now just select your model, uh, your tree model, select your bones, go control P with automatic weights. And now if we see, you can see that the, um, okay, cool. So select the, the tree and select the bones, go control, control P with automatic weights. Uh, and then if we go check the model, we can see that we have like a bottom one, we have a second uh, group and then we have a third group. So you may have to change these slightly, like this kind of would make more sense if we have like, it affects it more over here and maybe slightly on this one. And then this one, the top one will affect more of the top over here and then slightly less at the bottom over here. Cool. Now you can see if we try and move this, you can see it all works kind of well. Right, so the first way that you do it is with some procedural animation. It's not the greatest, but it is the quickest. And you will have to mess around with a bit of keyframes just to get it to work. So the way we do this is we just go to the bottom and we go to graph editor and we can pull this up. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go select a bone and press R. Then I'm just gonna go rotation. Now what we do is we're gonna modify it to make sure that you're on the right axis. So if you drop down here, you can see X and Y is the ones that we'll probably want to uh, affect. I'm gonna go add some noise on the X over here. And I can see right now it's doing this, which obviously looks nothing like an actual tree animation. So what we can do is we can change the scale and I'll change the speed of it. So now you can see it does like this. We can change the scale and you can also change the strength. So if we zoom in here, you can see so it just does like this. It just, add, it just looks like some random noise. But so you might just have to mess around with the numbers over here. So you can change the strength, you can change the scale uh, until you get something that kind of loops a bit. All right, that's cool. But if you want to animate it by hand, let me show you how to do it now. What you got to do is just select one of the bones. You can go back to the beginning, press R, rotation. Um, and then we could just, just go to the end, go R, rotation, so that it will like loop perfectly. And then what you can do is just, as we go through, is just start adding keyframes. You can just put either just R to rotate or double R to rotate. Uh, like this so you can just do something like that uh rotation uh and then you can see so now I'll go there and you can like rotate it back and then now all of these animations the, these keyframes are linear so what you can also do is when you add all your keyframes so just making it go back and forth is we just go a let's just select everything and then go bezier and now if we press play we can see they kind of like smooth together. And now all of these will actually loop properly. So if we go back there, see it actually loops. And that's just how you can animate it by hand. What you need to do is grab your tree model and your rig, so select them, go file, export, and then FPX. Then you go click on selected objects, go armature and hold shift to hold mesh. Go down to armature, click on add leaf bones, turn that off. Make sure your bake animation's on and give it a name and then just click export. Over in Unity, all you need to do is go right click, go import new asset, go find your model, just the FBX, go import. And then what we're gonna do is on the rig tab, so just select it in the little asset folder, go rig, change to create from this model. And I'm just gonna choose the, like the root bone that I have and click apply. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go animations, click on loop time in this animation, and click apply. So you can see a preview of it down here and you can see that the tree is moving back and forth. Cool. Then I can just go open up here. I'm going to just click on the plane, drag it in. And then we can see here, we drop this down. See, we have a, like a little animation controller here. And then you can see it already has the avatar in there and we just need to select the animation and drag the animation onto the object. And I can see it creates an animation controller. And if you open it up, you can see it just like this and then you can change the speed of your animation because this little block over here is the animation itself. So you can change the speed, so you can make it like two times as fast, you can make it one time, you can make it slower, etc. So if we go back to our scene and we can play now, 
you can see our tree is moving back and forth. Yeah, so there you go. I hope you can use these methods to animate some plants and bring your games to life. But if you want to make some more complex animations and don't know how, click on this video over here to learn more. Cheers.